fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe is there. It's G.I. Joe against Cobra the enemy, fighting to save the day. He never gives up. He's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose, to defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe Doesn't look like much of a cobra base to me, Duke. The nerve center's probably underground, Beachhead. Who cares where it is? I'm just glad to be back in action. <laughs> Why do people say action when they mean violence? Okay, let's go hacker hunting. Hackers, huh? Knew a family named a hacker once. Pretty nice people. These hackers are cobra computer experts. Didn't you read the intelligence report? I don't read intelligence reports gets me riled up. Cobra's doing something with software and decoder boxes. So far, this is turning out to be as simple as programming in BASIC. Intruder alert! Code red! <laughs> Looks like Cobra's running an international mail order business. <laughs> like what? The Snake of the Month Club? Heads up! Snake pushes onto us! Vipers! <laughs> Come on! You won't believe this! Cobra's gone into pay TV. Here's one of the decoder boxes I told you about. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, mainframe, let's check this out. Computer printouts? Yeah, real amateur stuff, though. Come on, take it with you. Stay back. Here's you got uh, piranha problems. When I ask a question, I demand an answer. We said in our report... Your Highness... A computer virus... Can be as dangerous to a computer... As an organic virus is... To, to the, the human, human body. body. We've prepared a demonstration. A virus is a program secretly slipped into a computer to lie there, dormant, undetected, until activated under a set of predetermined conditions. Whereupon the program requires more and more of the computer's memory and power to, to run, run it. Until all the memory is used up and the system overloads. Not all viruses create such destruction, but as you can see, mine does. <laughs> and this, Dr. Mindbender? is how you propose to cripple the entire computer network of the international police. In less than 15 minutes, Cobra could plunge the free world's law enforcement agencies into utter chaos. <laughs> Supports! <laughs> you, you know I won't, won't touch a weapon, sci-fi. 
This ain't no time to be so all fired. Principles lifeline, grab on! Why, Lifeline, you deny them cute little critters just a tiny taste? <laughs> Look! What's happening? We'll come back for them, but our first priority is getting this stuff back to Joe headquarters. So much for a routine reconnaissance mission. Hmm. How much will this cost me? Only a pittance. A mere five billion. billion. Five billion? By the serpent gods of the netherworld, how do you expect me to raise five billion dollars? With a telethon. A cobra-thon, to be exact. The twins overestimated the cost at five billion dollars, Your Excellency. Criminals everywhere would contribute generously. To see Interpol's computers wiped out. We've even arranged some guest entertainment. <laughs> Interesting. But will it actually cost five billion? No! In fact, the cost is far, far less. But by setting our pledge goal at five billion, not only will we recoup the cost of developing the virus, but we'll make a huge profit besides. Excellent. All agents of Cobra shall assist you. This I command! Uh, it, it shouldn't be too much longer now, uh, uh, General Hawk, sir. Don't get flustered, son. We're all Joes here. Busy, darlings, and the numbers on the tote board climbing. With your help, the first annual Cobra Telethon will reach its five billion dollar goal. Telethon? What in the name of Sam Hill is this? Beats me, sir. It, it's a, a rogue broadcast, it, not on any assigned frequency. But we are not here merely to uh, pick your pockets. We are here to put on a show. Where's this coming from, son? I'm trying to get a fix, sir. Yes, but eliminate them in the most entertaining manner possible. So, in keeping with our surroundings, we shall allow a game of chance to determine their fates. Destro? Lifeline sci-fi. So that's what happened to them. But where Duke and the others? Spin the wheels! Round and round and round go the G.I. Joes! And how they end up? No one knows! Yet! Kyle Tone, get that signal back! Now! G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. I can't get the signal back. The scrambler's programmed to change its code at random. We were just plain lucky to unscramble that signal in the first place. We need a compatible decoder box. Like this one? We'd have gotten here sooner, but the cargo plane we borrowed wasn't built for speed. Wish we could have smuggled out sci-fi and lifeline. They got caught. We know, as Dial Tone will show you. Thank you for calling Cobra Thon. May I take your pledge, please? This is degrading. For those of you who have just joined us. That one's cheating! Make him play the game! Please stand by? What happened? Where's Sci-Fi and Lifeline? Pinpoint that transmission! Well, according to the satellite, Cobra's signal originates in Nevada. I, I can't get more specific than that. Of course. The Baroness said in keeping with our surroundings. 
I bet those snakes are in Reno or Las Vegas. Check out every TV station and studio. Any place that transmission could be coming from. Find it and bring back sci-fi and lifeline. Stupid fool! Did you really think you could escape? <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time. Laugh all you can, G.I. Jokers. Take them back to their cages and then clean up this mess. Oh, please, forgive the interruption, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is now under control. However, we shall determine the manner of the Joe's cancellations later in the program, once we repair the wheels. But right now, Destro will explain for those who just joined us the main objective of this telethon. Thank you, ladies and germs. I, uh, <laughs> I just slithered in from headquarters and, <laughs> boy, does my stomach hurt. <laughs> Vive la Cobra! But uh, seriously, folks, a funny thing happened to me on the way to the studio. Uh, no! No, I cannot continue with this idiotic drivel! Ah! <sighs> That's better. <clears throat> now then, joining me here is the man who developed the computer virus. Computer virus? Dr. Mindbender! Thank you, Destro. At the exact moment when this tote board shows five billion dollars, Cobra's host system, a mainframe computer presently hidden in a remote secret location, will automatically send the command via modem to the FBI's central mainframe. That command will instruct the FBI computer to begin running the virus program. The result? Critical overload. Within minutes after the FBI system overloads, the computers of Scotland Yard and all other Interpol agencies will explode. <laughs> Thanks to your generous contributions, nothing, I mean nothing, can stop a computer virus once it gets started. We can see control of the world's governments while their law enforcement agencies are incapacitated. We've got less than a billion dollars of time to find that studio. At the rate they're raking it in, that's about six hours away. Hey, G.I. Joe! Glad is Irene a real G.I. Joe! Uh, ma'am, I'm on a mission. But can we just get your autograph? Later, sister. He's got work to do. I'm surprised at you, Dial Tone. Get a date on your own time. Aw, oh, Flint. Well, while you guys were romancing the locals, I checked the casino studio. Nothing. Relax. It won't be much longer. Better not be, because there aren't many places left to look. Jaws? Here? Where are they headed? They're on their way to the Coconut Palm, your hotel, Baroness. No problem, Baroness. We got a few old disputes to settle with them. What if Flint and the boys can't put a stop to this telethon? Then maybe we'll be able to find their host computer and disable it before the Cobrathon reaches its pledge goal. How? This printout Beachhead swiped is the scratch work of the programmers who developed the virus. Its log-on program might tell us where their computer is hidden, if I can crack the code. Well, for Pete's sake, mainframe, get cracking! Get the dirt! Look out! Duck it! I guess this must be the place! G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Who are these guys? Dreadnoughts! Yeah, keeping their eyes peeled for anything that might disturb the Cobra-thon. All right! 
unless I miss my guess. Cobra-thon is going on inside this hotel. Move it, men. Another budding criminal cut down in his prime by the authorities. What can we do about it, Zartan? We can do a lot, Thrasher. Your dollars can help stop this shameless waste of fresh young talent. Yes, your dollars can make it possible for young men to be sent to Cobra's Elite Academy. No telling how long we'll have the element of surprise. <sighs> To mainframe. Come in, mainframe. Well, Hawk, have you found out if the code refers to any particular location? Affirmative. It means Cloud City. Ancient Anasazi pueblos that have been abandoned for centuries. Why else would there be telephone lines strung to them? Unless Cobra's host computer is inside of one. Yeah, those lines must be for the modem hookup that interfaces their computer with the FBI's. Uh-oh, heads up, guys. Night Ravens at 7 o'clock high. Inside the hotel on foot. Elevators are too well guarded. They're broadcasting from the hotel ballroom just below our present location. We read you, Flint. We've spotted a battle android trooper here, and I got a month's pay that says it isn't a tourist. that equipment was for, I'd say this place was a hacker's paradise. Now what? I'm going to introduce a little program of my own into the infected system, you might say. It'll turn the virus back here, and the only computer that will be overloaded will be this one. Yeah! 
Two gas will put those cobras on ice. Duke, mainframe, what's happening? We've done what we can here, Flint. Let's get out of here. We'll know any second now if it worked. <sighs> the Cobra Honchos gave us the slip, but at least Interpol's computers are safe. Hey, look! The cameras are still running. Think maybe we should give the folks at home a sign-off so they know that the show is over? What you got in mind, Dial Tone? How about this? I think that says it all, Dial Tone. I think that says it all. G.I. Joe will return after these messages.